favorite scary movie. I don't want them. I want you. It's simple. You show yourself, they survive. You run, they die. Oh, don't you want to know, Sydney? Hey guys, on to Ghostface from Scream. Off, I am going from a Google image. This was just the first thing that came up on Google, so that's what I'm basing my look off of. The first thing we're going to do is to stick down your eyebrows. I have some pretty bush ass eyebrows, so I use a glue stick to block them out. I just go against the hairs of my eyebrows and then push them up and away, and then I go over them with or like a, with the grain with the hairs to stick them down completely. I'm using the Mayron Pro Pencil Jumbo in super white to trace out all the facial features. You could use black, you could use virtually any color, but I only had white right now, so that's what I used to trace out the mouth. I measured it down my neck. I kind of went with the shape or the outline of my throat. That's what best fit me. And I kind of contoured it down into like the V of my neck there, which you're going to see as it goes down, to map out where I wanted the mouth to go. The eyebrows for me were actually super tricky. I had to make them, I ended up just kind of going with a sad jelly bean looking idea. <laughs> so kind of how I mapped out my entire eye. I just went with the contour, I guess, down my super dark eye bags and kind of went down through my eyelid or around over top of my eyelid just to kind of get a decent shape. the paint to paint over or under or reshape. This is just a general idea of what I'm going to follow when I paint my face. Using this angle brush that I used throughout the entire video, I first color off my eyebrows with the white paint from Mehran. I make sure that's thick and over so they don't really show up and then I proceed to cover my entire face. Now I use the Mayron Cream Makeup in black to fill in all of the spots. This is just tracing out again whatever was in my eyes and filling in the mouthpiece and then going through the nose. Um, my eyelids creased less when I covered my eye section in some black eyeshadow, so that's what I did also. kind of look like a sad panda <laughs> at this point. To get a thinner looking face, I contoured like contoured in black paint around my entirety of my face. I followed the natural crease of where my forehead line was just to get an idea of where I wanted my outlines to go. I figured with the angle brush it's the easiest to get a sharp line by pressing the brush against where the line starts and pushing it outwards. This helped me throughout the entire process. Next, I'd use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette in the color Shax, which is the black in there, to shadow and create all the different prominent lines, which actually help to make this look more like a mask and less like the infamous panda. Based off the reference photo I was using, I just created the shadows around the eye sockets predominantly because that's what needed to be stood out. I basically traced exactly what I saw in the picture. I did contour lines for the mouth to make my face look more hollow and like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I also contoured down my neck on the white spots to make it look more 3D also. As you can see here, I tried to splatter blood on me with a brush, but it didn't work out, so I ended up just, just using my finger to add some blobs everywhere and make it look like I had just killed a man, multiple men, everyone. 